assess your season overall? I mean, it was a fun season. I had some of my uh, best moments. I mean, getting called to the NHL and playing my first game was pretty exciting. And uh, I mean, unfortunately, not making playoffs was a big hit to us. But I mean, it's uh, kind of an up and down year, I guess. How right do you down. feel you grew overall? Um, I feel like I got a lot better throughout the whole year. I mean, it's pretty exciting. I mean, uh, once again, getting that experience in the NHL, I think that helps you a lot. It really helps just uh, bolster a new mentality, just saying, OK, I can play there. I know I can. It's just about going in the summer and working as hard as I can and developing the little things again. The highlight, uh, was, was the highlight of your season uh, the call-up and uh, the debut in Columbus? Uh, for sure, probably. I mean, that's, uh, that's a dream come true to play in the National Hockey League. It's something I've been working for my whole life. and. Uh, I'm just going to continue striving towards uh, reaching that goal again. Must have some good feelings about the state of uh, Ohio. Uh, you <laughs> just had a, your final game of the year there, shutting out uh, uh, Cleveland, and that uh, kept them out of the playoffs. What was that like to sort of end the season in that fashion? I mean, that's really exciting. I mean, for us to uh, win our last game was, um, I think that was big for us. It was probably our, I think, one of our best games of the year. I mean, we went in there and it was like playoff hockey for us because they had to get in the playoffs. They know that they had to win that game pretty much to get in. And uh, for us, it was going out there and trying to end their season. And we battled as hard as we could. We played a strong game. And it was a pretty exciting and fun paced game. And what does that say about the team as a whole? Uh, you could say it was a nothing game for you guys, and it meant everything to them. And, and you guys came out on top. Um, I mean, for sure. I mean, just the battle, we never quit. We always had that mentality, never quit. Just play our game, have the right mindset. and. Uh, some games are not going to always go your way, but if we have the right mindset and play the way that we can play, it's going to be a, a challenging game. That's what I think we did that game very well. We just defended each other and played the best hockey we could. You come into next season now with the mindset that uh, you're going to compete and, and push for a spot on the, the big club? Uh, for sure. I mean, that's my goal. I always want to come in here and do the best I can to uh, compete for the NHL job. I know I understand dynamics. I understand I'm still a very young goaltender, and it's about getting better every single day, but I, I want to play in the National Hockey League, and that's uh, my goal coming forward. With that said, is, is there a lot more benefit you could have here with the Moose playing as the starter next year? Um, it's hard to say. I don't know. You can say both ways. Oh, you can be in the National Hockey League, get a lot of experience that way, or be in the American League and play a lot of games. I mean, it's two different things. I mean, you got to experience it to get, uh, understand it. I don't know how it would be if I was in the National Hockey League. I don't know. I've only been there for one day, so I don't really know. It's about... Uh, just for myself, I just got to stay focused on what I can control. I can't control that. Steve Ellicott was on TSN 1290 last week. He talked about how you're one of the best goalie prospects he's seen in the last five years. Um, I don't know if you heard those comments, but what would your reaction be to that statement? I mean, it's very nice to hear that. He's a very smart guy. I know him a little bit uh, just through scouting me a little bit and uh, met him there at the draft for the draft a little bit when he was with the Islanders. And I know how uh, he's a really uh, smart guy. He's got a lot of good analytics. I actually watch his thing on Valley's view a lot. He's, uh, and I mean, that's a really nice thing to hear. It's about, that's all I can really say. Yeah, <laughs> really happy about hearing that. It was a one day, but how much does that NHL call up reignite your draft? Oh, for sure. I mean, that's uh, the big thing it does. I mean, just, it proves to myself that I can play at that level, and I know I can. Um, so now I can go in the summer and just not worrying about, OK, I haven't got that game yet. Maybe it's too far away from me. Maybe I'm not ready yet. But now that I've played that game, got my win, I'm saying you know, I can say to myself, you know what, I know I can play here, but going this summer and just doing the same thing I do every single year and just getting better. They threw a lot of games at you this year. Was it challenging to kind of deal with the workload? No, for no. I mean, I was used to it. Play a lot of games last year, play a lot of games in Tri-City. Same I'm used to. I play better when I get a lot of games. It's just when I start getting one here, one there, one somewhere else, it's a little bit harder for me. I'm, just, I'm so used to getting into that rhythm of just playing every single night. You really stop thinking and just get into the mindset of just, I'm going to play, I'm going to do my best I can.